welcome back to today's video. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching on acid, bases, and salt, where I'll be focusing on the uses of acid. Now, before we start, what are acids? Acids are compounds when dissolved in water, produces hydrogen ion as the only positive ion. Now, this definition was given by a man called Svante Harenos. But the definition of acid that says acids are proton donor. It was given by two men, basically called Johannes Nicholas Brunstead and Thomas M. Lorry. And the definition of acid that says acids are electron pair acceptor. This definition was given by a man called Gilbert Newton Lewis. And this definition of acid is most encompassed. Now, let's quickly move over to the uses of acids. We have various acids. Now, in this lesson, I'll be giving us some common acids and their uses. So, the first acid I'll be talking about is called ethanoic acid. Okay, ethanoic acid. CH3COOH. Okay, this is called ethanoic acid. Or you say acetic acid. Now, this acid is used as a preservative, okay? Now, moving on to another acid, and this acid is called, let's say, uh, boric acid. Boric acid basically is used for making antiseptics and germicide. Now, moving on to another acid, like the likes of tartaric acid. And it should be noted that this uh, ethanoic acid basically is found in vinegar. Okay, it's found in vinegar. Now, basically, for tartaric acid, it is used for baking. Okay, it is used for baking. Now, moving on to another acid, uh, let's talk about strong acids like HCl. Now, hydrochloric acid basically is used to remove rust from metals. It is used to remove rust from metals. And this process is called pickling. The process whereby an acid is used to remove rust from metals, the process is called pickling. And this was a jam past question, 2011, okay? Jam 2011. The process whereby an acid is used to remove rust from metals is called pickling. And the, and the best acid to be used is called HCl. Now, moving on to another acid like likes of H2SO4. This acid is called hydrogen tetraoxosulfate 6, or you say tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. Now, this acid basically serves as a dehydrating agent. It serves as a dehydrating agent. What do I mean? For example, we have a sugar. So, whenever we have a sugar like this, this acid can dehydrate the sugar to form Carbon. For example, we are using CCH12O6. This is called glucose. So, bringing this acid H2SO4 is going to dehydrate. It's going to dehydrate the glucose to form carbon. Six moles of carbon plus moles of water. So, it serves as a dehydrating agent. So, it can dehydrate sugar to form carbon, H2SO4. Now, H2SO4 can also be used as an electrolyte in lead acid accumulator. Okay, as an electrolyte in the lead acid accumulator. Now, talking about acids like citric acid, okay, for making fruit juice. Talking about acids like um, fatty acids. For soap making, which basically is a process called saponification. 
very important acid for soap making now let's um now when this acid hcl mixed with hno3 both they are acids but three moles of acl mixed with one moles of hno3 it forms a mixture and the mixture is called aqua regia the mixture is called aqua regia now aqua regia basically is used for dissolving plantinum and gold it is used for dissolving plantinum and gold it should be noted that aqua regia which is three moles of acl and one moles of hno3 is used for dissolving plantinum and gold so you can see we have various acids and their uses now talking about this acid which is called hno3 which is called uh, aqua fortis okay that's the old name but hydrogen triazo nitrate 5 okay that's the iopac name now this acid is used for making fertilizers and explosives fertilizers and explosives like the likes of tnt which is called trinitrotoluene so basically we have various acids under uses so these are the use of some common acids the acid basically the normal act in exam condition so do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these videos with your friends thanks for watching